camera time. 622 Woo! Live Shots, Century Plaza Hotel and Spa. This man is fired up because mm -hmm. we're talking movies and Michael Keaton back on the big screen this time. A certain burger joint getting the big screen treatment. <laughs> yes, indeed. And based on a true story, uh, as you know, Michael Keaton basically playing a struggling salesman from Il Illinois in the 50s. And he uh, stumbled upon a burger joint that was run by two brothers. He took that idea and created a multi billion dollar empire. This is the founder. It could be said that that beautiful building flanked by those arches signifies more or less the same thing. It doesn't just say delicious hamburgers inside. They signify family, it signifies community. It's a place where Americans come together to break bread. I am telling you, McDonald's can be the new American church. Feeding bodies and feeding souls, and it ain't just open on Sundays, boys. <laughs> well, you've got the star power. Now, is the story good enough to overlook the idea of a blatant advertisement for the Golden Arches here? Yeah, and you know, McDonald's distanced himself from this movie because it doesn't make the founder, Ray Kroc, here look uh, very nice. And uh, he used uh, some particularly sketchy, um, you know, ways to, to create this empire. Uh, essentially, at one point in the movie, he says contracts are like hearts, they're made to be broken. So he sort of plays both, you know, a good guy on the surface and a, and a driven enthusiastic person who's influenced uh, you know by people uh, and is an influencer himself but he's also a bit of a villain uh, because of some of the practices that he went through so it is a fascinating story not only for how this all happened but it was a turning point in American culture when the idea of fast food was introduced because many people were used to going to the drive-ins they would often get a wrong order they'd be waiting a long time uh, for their food but this time it was all about getting that food to you as, as quickly as, you, as they can impressive role for Keaton he's just having a great couple of years with Bird Man Spotlight, no. and now this one. And then you see John Carroll Lynch and Nick Offerman playing the McDonald Brothers in that clip. They are real, the heart of the movie that really grounded, because your sympathies lie with them for most of it. B.J. Novak, uh, Patrick Wilson, and Laura Dern also rounding out a fine ensemble cast. It gets bogged down in the middle with the legalese, the uh, technical jargon, and things like that. So as a movie itself, it's a fairly middling biopic, I would say. Nothing too innovative or groundbreaking here. Thankfully, though, it's grounded nicely by Keaton's performance and just an utterly compelling story. How many hammers? I'm going to go three out of five for the founder. Okay, you hungry already talking about this? Very much so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to switch gears all together and talk yeah. about uh, female resiliency, oh, man. 20th century women. Well, this is all about Annette Benning, another amazing uh, notch in her career belt here. 20th century women takes place in Santa Barbara, California, 1979. She is a determined single mother who is raising an adolescent son. Uh, dad's out of the picture, so she enlists the help of two younger women played by Elle Fanning, you see there, and Greta Gerwig. They all kind of live in a house together. Uh, Billy Crudup's there, and he's the handyman, so he kind of provides the uh, male influence. Um, this is a beautifully shot movie. It captures the uh, the aesthetic and the look and the wardrobe, the fashion, uh, the culture and the music of the era beautifully. And I thought the performances were great. You have another excellent cast here and Boyd so nicely by Annette Benning. I think she's going to get an Oscar nom next week for this great performance. However, you see some of the um, the flair, the visual imagery got a little bit gimmicky for, the, for me at times and it was kind of twee. It got ex excessively quaint or sentimental. So I really enjoyed some of it. Uh, I didn't have like a nice forward momentum with the plot, but um, still lots to love about this movie. How many hammers? I'm going to go another repeat and go three out of five for this one as well. Three out of five. I think we need a boys night with 20th century women. Russ, <laughs> you in? I'm in.